Let's take a look inside the head to see how blood flows to the brain. The brain needs a constant supply of blood to stay alive and work properly. This red network you see are the brain's blood vessels. They're like tiny highways that carry blood full of oxygen and nutrients. Blood comes up from large arteries in the neck, called the carotid and vertebral arteries. These split and travel all over the brain, branching into smaller arteries. Arteries like the middle cerebral, anterior cerebral, and posterior cerebral send blood to different brain parts. Together, these arteries make a loop called the circle of Willis. It helps keep blood flowing even if one part gets blocked. This blood flow is super important because every part of the brain needs oxygen to think, move, feel, and more. Now let's zoom in to see what happens when something goes wrong. This close-up shows a blood clot stuck in one of the brain's arteries. This clot is blocking the blood flow, and that's bad news. Without blood, that part of the brain can't get the oxygen it needs. If the blockage isn't cleared quickly, brain cells start to die. This is what doctors call a stroke. The artery shown here, the left internal carotid artery, usually sends blood to other arteries like the anterior and middle cerebral arteries. But the clot is in the way, and blood can't get past it. That's why strokes can cause things like weakness, trouble talking, or even losing consciousness. The faster someone gets help, the better their chance of recovery.